Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel Electron TV. For today's knowledge sharing video guys is about boiler flame port alarm. And the boiler we cannot run in a manual and also in auto mode. And before we start guys, if you are new in my YouTube channel it would be a pleasure to me guys if you click like and subscribe to my youtube channel okay guys this is our boiler and this is the control panel the boiler okay stop this is uh, auto I put in auto guys let's see if it's running normal or no burner auto burner back up fan supply is not uh, running okay. okay guys this is the burner controller if you put in auto This device will run the boiler in automatic. No need to do anything. Just put in auto and that controller run all the things. And now this burner controller guys is uh, not running. I'm not sure what is the problem why it's not running. Okay guys, it is the diagram for boiler. Maker sa Aki Kingdom Kingdaw Marine Boiler Kingdaw Electronic Detecting Instrument Factory. Okay, we need to read this and find out why the burner controller is not running and why this boiler is not running in automatic LOK this is the label guys of the burner controller ok this is the thing that we need to check why it's not running so plenty things we need to read and understand how it's working and this is the selector switch for manual mode, auto mode, KA16, 17, contactor, where is that? And the problem guys is we cannot run in auto and we cannot run also in manual mode both it's not working and there's no alarm this is the alarm signal oil oil temp we need to read carefully slowly slowly and we need to understand how that uh, boiler controller working Okay guys, after I read the manual and download the manual for this burner controller all you need to do guys just to push the glass to reset that burner controller and after that you can run the boiler automatically Okay guys, you see have a neon lamp and now it's running but now look, we have a fault flame fault and the boiler it's not uh, running or working we run in auto but we have a fault flame fault okay guys now we check again the manual and here guys the alarm and here is the flame fault 
to trigger the brain port guys we have uh, two contacts from KA25 and KA27 this here KA25 is from burner port this is the LOK for the burner controller or program controller because we ran in auto that KA25 trigger the plane port okay just to check here is LA10 LA10 guys is the flame relay but see negative positive give signal to program controller and this is the flame eye or flame sensor we have K18 both side we have a uh, normally close and normally open contacts from K18 K18 guys based in the selector switch auto mode K18 will trigger or energize therefore this contact will be close from the up both side and the uh, L810 or uh, plane relay it's not uh, working for automatic okay KA19 open contact is for manual mode so if you run in manual mode this one is closed and the relay is energized and this uh, flame eye gives signal to the flame relay because if you run in auto K18 will energize and close both sides the contact and give signal to the burner controller or program controller LOK so the K825 is trigger the flame port because we run in auto mode the thing is what is the cause why this K25 energize this here in the manual we have plenty things to check like ignition transformer partial load for solenoid bulb solenoid bulb for full load or pressure switch burner low so all those things we need to check one by one to see and to know what is the cause of the plane port and now guys uh, I start to check the servo motor to run the servo motor we need to this is the servo motor guys for the damper to run guys you need to run the pan first so now burner and pan run and that servo motor run to open the damper and the air get inside the boiler but look the servo motor is running but you see the shop it's not running and the damper it's not moving so therefore we don't have air get inside the boiler maybe that's the cause that's why they cannot start or run the boiler we don't have air inside because the damper was closed And now guys you see I try to move manual just to 
open the damper I put in the 30 degree to open and the uh, air go inside the boiler maybe that's the reason that's why they cannot create a fire inside the boiler because we don't have uh, air and uh, based to fire triangle to create a fire we need uh, oxygen or air and a fuel to create a fire now see the damper is moving I try to put in a uh, 30 degree okay now I think it's enough already at uh, 30 degree and you see the damper already open okay now I try to run the fan and check if we have uh, air supply go inside okay now it's okay we have uh, air supply and now we can try if it's the boiler it's running after that guys we try to start but it's have the same problem flame port therefore we need to check some other things because it's have uh, still the same port now guys this is the terminal block and we need to check here the supply for ignition transformer here guys is the ignition transformer and now guys we already test the ignition transformer have a supply and now I try to check if we have a output and can create a small fire to start the boiler we remove from the igniter and now guys look we run manually just to check if the ignition transformer is working see guys we have a small fire and the ignition transformer is good ok guys now we go to other things we open and check the burner nozzle and clean and we adjust the distance of the igniter after that guys we try to test run and manual but uh, have the same problem and now guys we check this uh, fuel pump and the uh, fuel supply if it's working and have a uh, fuel that, that's the fuel pump guys and this is the solenoid bulb 1 and 2 1 for a partial load and 2 is for a full load ok and this is the pressure switch for fuel flow and this is the gauge also pressure gauge now guys we check again the manual to see how is the fuel flow and the how the solenoid bulbs working we have 115 2 We have here the given voltage referred to 230 volts for 115 volts control voltage 115. Based the in the manual that I read, guys, this 2115 solenoid bulb connected in series and energized in the same time. Here is the another one. 5 and uh, 6 solenoid bulb normally close so we energize at the same time fuel 
run from here number 3 solenoid valve guys is normally open so the flow of fuel is continuous from here and this number 2 normally close so number 3 open the fuel continuously go to return because this number 3 is normally open here is the return number 2 is normally close this is uh, for I think for heavy load or pull load ok after that guys we check the supply for the solenoid coil you see we have a put the label 1 and 2 1 is the normally open and then number 2 is the normally close but look the coil was uh, already damaged open guys this coil is came from uh, number 1 but I uh, changed because number 1 is for partial load and number 2 is for heavy load because we don't have a spare I tried to transfer the coil of number 1 to number 2 just to energize the number 1 solenoid coil or for the partial load number 1 guys is for the partial load number 2 is for heavy because I don't have a spare coil I try to put in the number 1 just to testing if this number one working and let's see if the boiler is running and the number one guys based in the manual is a normally open solenoid bulb therefore if energized it's a become close and the flow of the fuel is close and let's see if it's working okay guys I already put back the wire for the coil and this one is already in a good position the igniter to close guys we have a pin just put like this and put back the pin and we'll close okay okay now guys we put back everything and now we try to start manual pan run burner manual okay guys see boiler is running look we have a fire inside so it's okay we already locate the problem and the problem guys is the solenoid coil for the partial load is open or damaged that's why did not, they don't have a fuel supply comes out from the nozzle and that's the reason that's why they cannot create a fire and also the servo motor guys okay guys this is the manual I explained that's the coil that uh, damage or open it's not working you follow the fuel line these two 115 volts already energized and the fuel will go here here go to the nozzle and go back to the number 3 solenoid bulb normally open and return because this one is not working or not energized the fuel always continue to return line because this one is not working if start the boiler if that partial load is working and close and the fuel line block and go out from this nozzle and that's the time they can create a fire but this one is damaged that's why they don't have fuel comes out from the nozzle 
always continue to return you don't have a fuel comes out and what I did I removed the coil and put here from number 2 to number 3 because important is the first stage or the partial load to create a fire and that's it And that's it guys now we try to start again see we start burner low burner low and see we have a fire inside and the boiler is uh, working but did not working in a heavy load because I don't have a spare coil and finish for today good thing is uh, we found out the trouble the cause of trouble and I hope you like my video and you learn something in this video okay again guys don't forget to click like if you like my video and subscribe to my youtube channel Electron TV to all of my subscribers thank you guys thank you for watching take care always and God bless see you in my next video